You guys have heard the word culture because it's everywhere. And, and culture is what will determine the, the long-term sustainable results for you as an individual and you guys collectively. And ultimately, culture are the values and the behaviors and the experiences that you guys have every single day as part of UConn basketball. And you have to live those out. And in order to have an incredibly high culture, can't ever be any slippage. See, great cultures, this, doesn't, this isn't their week right here. Great cultures are consistent, and that's how you all need to be. Which means if a team captain's not here, there's no slippage during practice. If Coach Hurley's not here, there's no slippage during practice. That you guys are willing to do everything you can to actualize your potential every single day. That's the type of culture you need. And make sure that you're the type of player that you would want to coach if you were a coach. Don't do anything that makes their job harder. Anytime you do something that steps out of bounds or undermines the standards you've created to be a national championship level team, it's an act of selfishness. Same thing with not being the best version of yourself. If you choose to come to practice and you chose not to get a good night's sleep, you chose not to hydrate, you chose not to eat well, you chose not to go in and get your therapy, you made all of those decisions, you're basically choosing yourself over the team. You are choosing to be selfish when you come to practice and you're not prepared. Because the only way you guys can, can actualize your potential is if every one of you comes every single day as the best version of yourself. So don't, don't let selfishness win out. And selfishness is a natural tendency. That's what makes all of this so hard. See, we go back to that basic and easy dichotomy. I know for a fact that everything that I'm telling you guys, I'm saying with a very matter-of-fact tone. This stuff is very basic. I don't think I've lost any one of you for a split second. I have nine-year-old twin sons and a seven-year-old daughter. They understand everything that I'm saying right now. This stuff is basic, but you guys know firsthand not a single thing I've said is easy. Not any of it. So don't think that I think what I'm asking you to do is easy. If you think that it's easy to show up every single day and be the best version of yourself, you think it's easy to hold the guys next to you accountable to be the best that they're capable of being, it's not. You know how hard that is. But that's why the reward will be something that very few people ever get to experience. Because very few people are willing to make the sacrifice to do the things that I'm encouraging you all to do. And the fact that you are the ones that control your own destiny in that regard. You don't control whether or not you win or you lose. You don't control that. So this is not about guarantees, because I can't promise you anything. I can't promise you that you'll be All-American. I can't promise you you'll play professionally. I can't promise you you'll win uh, a national championship. What I can promise you is doing these things every day greatly increases the chance that those things happen. And that's all any of us should be in the business of doing, is trying to get the statistics lined up in our favor. I don't want whether or not you play pro to be a coin flip. I don't want it to be a coin flip. I want it to be so heavily skewed in your favor that we'll all be shocked if it doesn't happen. And if for any reason, any of those things do not come to fruition, it's not because of something you had control over. There will be times simply you just play another team and they're better than you. That, that happens, that's life. There might be one roster spot left on a team and the guy that gets it is a little bit better than you. That's okay, that's not something you have control over. But how, how crappy would that be to exit from the tournament early and you look back and you guys all know that the reason that happened is because you didn't do everything in your power. See, there's only two things in this world that each of you has 100% control over 100% of the time. There's only two, your effort and your attitude. Those are the only two things you control all of the time. And I wanna encourage you guys to put all of your emphasis into those two things your effort and your attitude. Don't worry about anything else. Block out everything else.